laws governing the entire universe, but certain mysteries have remained unsolved despite decades of research. Join us in delving into the answers to these questions. Why does time travel in one direction? What is the nature of reality? Why does gravity exist? Why does time slow down when we travel at the speed of light? These are inquiries that have captivated our minds for millennia. What if I told you that gravity is a lie? It's merely a construct of the human brain. This might seem unbelievable, but that's exactly what the famous physicist Brian Cox recently claimed. Let's delve into the nature of gravity and why time slows down to find out what on earth is wrong with gravity. We need to go beyond Newton, the problem lies not so much in what he understood but in what he failed to address. Altogether, there's a problem with Newton's theory of gravity, and that's that it just allows us to predict how things move under its influence. It doesn't say anything about why gravity exists or even how it works, it just allows you to calculate things. Newton knew this, of course, he essentially just said that it's down to God. He said that the most beautiful system of the sun, the planets, and comets could only proceed under the dominion and counsel of an intelligent being. In other words, I'll give you the tools to calculate how the objects move around, but don't ask me how or why that is, that's down to God. In the vast universe that surrounds us, mysteries are waiting to be uncovered. Among these mysteries are the perplexing phenomena related to time and gravity, two fundamental aspects of our existence. Imagine a world where time behaves strangely, where it can slow down or speed up, and where the force that keeps us grounded might not be what it seems. This is the realm of Albert Einstein's theories of relativity, where our understanding of time and gravity takes a strange twist. Albert Einstein, a name known to many, gave us a new perspective on the universe with his theories of relativity. His work laid the foundation for our understanding of how time behaves under different conditions, particularly when we travel at extreme speeds. It all began in the early 20th century when Einstein proposed two groundbreaking theories, the special theory of relativity and the general theory of relativity. The special theory of relativity, published in 1905, transformed our understanding of time and space. In simple terms, it tells us that the laws of physics remain the same for all non-accelerating observers, regardless of their motion. This theory introduces the concept of relativistic effects, including the famous notion that time can dilate or slow down under certain conditions. One of the most intriguing thought experiments used to explain time dilation is the light clock. Imagine being inside a spaceship moving at an incredible speed close to the speed of light. Inside this spaceship, there's a beam of light bouncing between two mirrors perpendicular to the direction of motion. To an observer inside the spaceship, the light appears to travel in a straight line, bouncing vertically. However, to an outside observer who's not moving with the spaceship, things look different. They see the spaceship moving at high speed and observe the light beam's path. Since the spaceship is moving, the light beam has to cover more distance to hit the mirror. According to the laws of physics, the speed of light is constant for all observers. So, the light beam must appear to travel a longer diagonal path. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The time it takes for the light beam to travel its path should be the same for both the observer inside the spaceship and the one outside. But since the path is longer for the outside observer, it seems like it would take more time for the light to complete its journey. This apparent time difference between the two observers is what Einstein called time dilation. Time slows down for the observer in motion relative to the stationary observer. So, in this scenario, time behaves differently depending on your motion. It's not just a concept, experiments have confirmed these relativistic effects. For example, particles in particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider can reach speeds close to the speed of light. Scientists must consider the effects of time dilation to make accurate predictions and measurements. The special theory of relativity opens the door to a world where time is not a constant, where it can be stretched and compressed depending on your motion. It challenges our everyday intuition and leads us to the realization that the universe operates in ways far beyond our common experience. Einstein's special theory of relativity, introduced in 1905, reshaped our understanding of the universe's fabric, particularly in terms of time and motion. This theory, in its essence, reveals that the laws of physics apply uniformly for all non-accelerating observers irrespective of their motion. This seemingly strange idea challenges our conventional notion of time. The concept of time dilation is one of the most fascinating and practical implications of the theory. As mentioned in the first section, time can slow down or dilate depending on your motion. The faster you move, the slower time appears to pass for you relative to the stationary observer. This effect becomes more pronounced as you approach the speed of light. 
Imagine two identical twins, one on Earth and the other traveling into space at a significant fraction of the speed of light. When the space-traveling twin returns, they will be younger than their Earth-bound sibling. This phenomenon, often referred to as the twin paradox, is a real consequence of time dilation. The reason behind this peculiar behavior lies in the invariance of the speed of light. As the space-traveling twin accelerates to a high speed, the ticking of their clock appears normal to them. One of the most famous equations in physics, E equals mc squared, is a direct outcome of special relativity. This equation states that energy and mass are interchangeable, meaning that mass can be converted into energy and vice versa. This principle is fundamental in understanding the behavior of particles at high speeds and the energy released in processes like nuclear reactions. The special theory of relativity forces us to reconsider our intuitive notions of time and space. It demonstrates that the universe operates in ways that defy everyday experience. Time is not an absolute concept but is relative, influenced by motion. The constancy of the speed of light and the relationship between energy and mass are central ideas confirmed by numerous experiments. Now, let's delve into the general theory of relativity, another groundbreaking concept put forward by Albert Einstein in 1915. This theory takes us into the realm of gravity, revealing a profound connection between gravity and the very fabric of the universe. At its core, the general theory of relativity challenges the classical concept of gravity as a force that acts at a distance between masses. Instead, it presents gravity as a consequence of the curvature of spacetime. To understand general relativity, we need to think of the universe as a four-dimensional entity, combining three dimensions of space and one of time. In this four-dimensional spacetime, massive objects, such as stars, planets, and even you, cause the fabric of spacetime to curve around them. This curvature is what we perceive as gravity. Imagine spacetime as a vast, flexible fabric, a massive object like the Earth creates a dimple in this fabric. When you place a smaller object, like a ball, near the Earth, it rolls towards the dimple. This is analogous to what happens when an object falls under the influence of gravity. It's not a mysterious force but is simply following the curvature of spacetime. General relativity provides a powerful explanation for the motion of celestial bodies in our solar system. It correctly predicts the orbits of planets, such as the elliptical path followed by Earth around the Sun. The old idea of gravity as an attractive force didn't fully account for these orbital motions, but the concept of curved spacetime does. One of the most striking confirmations of general relativity came during the solar eclipse of 1919 when Sir Arthur Eddington led an expedition to observe the bending of starlight by the sun's gravity. According to the theory, the sun's massive presence would curve the path of light from distant stars, making them appear slightly out of position. The observations matched Einstein's predictions, solidifying the theory's validity. Just as motion affects time in special relativity, gravity also has an impact on time. In regions of strong gravity, time passes more slowly than in regions of weaker gravity. This means that if you were standing near a massive object like a black hole, your clock would run slower than one located far from such a massive object. General relativity also has profound implications for the structure of the universe as a whole. Einstein initially added a cosmological constant to his equations to maintain a static universe. However, when it was discovered that the universe was expanding, he referred to this as his greatest blunder. The theory of an expanding universe, as supported by general relativity, forms the basis for the Big Bang theory, which describes the origin of the cosmos. Another significant prediction of general relativity was the existence of gravitational waves, ripples in the fabric of spacetime itself generated by massive accelerating objects such as merging black holes or neutron stars. In 2015, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory made the first direct detection of gravitational waves, confirming yet another aspect of Einstein's theory. Over the years, numerous experiments and observations have tested general relativity, and it has consistently withstood scrutiny. Whether it's the precise orbits of planets, the bending of starlight, or the observation of gravitational waves, the theory has repeatedly been confirmed. They propose that there might be additional, yet undiscovered factors or forces at play that could replace or augment our current understanding of gravity. These scientists explore various possibilities, including theories that introduce new particles or interactions. It's essential to note that alternative theories are not dismissed out of hand. The scientific community rigorously tests these ideas to determine their validity. In Einstein's theory, we've got four-dimensional space, and then you're prevented from traveling back in time by the speed of light. It fits into the geometry in that way, although you can imagine wormholes and ideas that involve tunneling through and taking shortcuts. 
It's important to highlight that skepticism and dissent are integral to the scientific method in the pursuit of knowledge. It's healthy to question established theories and explore alternatives. Through skepticism and exploration, science progresses. When scientific consensus is questioned, it can lead to further investigation and a deeper understanding of the universe. Despite the challenges and alternative theories, gravity, as described by general relativity, remains the dominant and most successful theory. This is because it has consistently passed extensive tests and accurately explains a wide range of phenomena, from planetary orbits to the bending of starlight by massive objects. The simplicity and comprehensiveness of general relativity make it difficult to supplant. As we've discussed, Einstein's special theory of relativity introduces the concept of time dilation, where time behaves differently depending on your motion. Now, let's explore how this theory has real and practical implications, particularly in the context of space travel. Space exploration has always fascinated humanity. We dream of exploring distant planets, stars, and even galaxies. However, there's a fundamental challenge when it comes to traveling vast cosmic distances, the vastness of the universe and the limitations of the speed of light. According to Einstein's theory, the speed of light in a vacuum is the ultimate speed in the universe. Nothing can move faster than the speed of light. This limit poses a significant challenge for interstellar travel. Because even with the most advanced technology, reaching the nearest stars would take a very long time. To understand the practical implications of time dilation in space travel, let's revisit the famous twin paradox. Imagine one twin stays on Earth while the other twin embarks on a journey to a distant star at a significant fraction of the speed of light. When the space-traveling twin returns, they would find that less time has passed for them than for their Earth-bound sibling. The space-traveling twin has effectively time-traveled into the future. Time is a precious resource for space travelers. The longer the journey, the more pronounced the time dilation effect becomes. In space travel to nearby stars, where the time dilation effect is substantial, this could mean that astronauts age at a slower rate compared to people on Earth. While this may sound like a science fiction plot, it's a real consequence of the theory of relativity. Now, let's explore the concept of why time travels in one direction. Time is a concept that governs our lives and the entire universe. It flows in a single, unyielding direction from the past to the present and onward into the future. This one-way journey of time, from what was to what will be, is a fundamental aspect of our existence. But why does time possess this unidirectional nature? The key to understanding why time travels in one direction lies in a concept called entropy. Entropy is a measure of the disorder or randomness in a system. It's a fundamental concept in physics and is intimately linked to the arrow of time. In simple terms, entropy tends to increase over time, and this increase in disorder or randomness leads to the one-way flow of time. The relationship between entropy and the direction of time is encapsulated in the second law of thermodynamics. This law states that in any isolated system, the total entropy will always increase or, at best, remain the same. In other words, entropy has a natural tendency to grow, and it never decreases on its own. Entropy is all around us, and its effects are readily observable. For instance, consider a deck of cards perfectly arranged in order. Over time, if we shuffle the cards, they become disordered and random. The initial order had low entropy, while the shuffled deck had higher entropy. The spontaneous transformation from order to disorder is a manifestation of the arrow of time. The arrow of time operates differently at different scales of existence. At the microscopic level, where we live our daily lives, the increase in entropy is apparent. We observe ice melting into water or the contents of a stirred cup of coffee mixing and becoming disordered. These macroscopic processes exemplify the one-way flow of time. In contrast, when we look at the microscopic world of atoms and particles, the laws of physics are symmetric concerning time. This means that at the microscopic level, processes are reversible. If you watch a movie of particles colliding and then run the movie backward, you won't be able to tell the difference. This phenomenon is known as time reversal symmetry the arrow of time, our reality would be vastly different, our actions would have no consequences, and causality would be unrecognizable. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.